Alright guys, in this video we have some very interesting PlayStation 5 information to go over and discuss here, and I'm going to try my best not to be all over the place with this video because there is a lot to wade through here, but I want to make sure I relay it all to you guys in the best way I possibly can to kind of paint a, in my opinion, very good picture of what may end up happening as soon as tomorrow. And that has to do with the PlayStation 5 announcement, or at the very least, the specification reveal coming from Sony that points to a 13.3 TFLOP RDNA 2 machine. Now, while there's some people who immediately want to write that off, I'm going to present to you some stuff in this video that maybe, I don't want to say confirms it, because it absolutely does not confirm anything. However, we are starting to get some strong hints that the PS5 is going to be much more powerful than a lot of people may end up expecting. And so before going any further, if you could do me a favor, hit the like button. It really helps the videos out more than you know. And be sure to hit the subscribe button as well if you haven't already done that and you want to keep up to date with everything PlayStation related, specifically with the PlayStation 5 and upcoming exclusives. But the first thing we're going to talk about here, um, I want to talk about Giant Bomb and how recently during their podcast, one individual seemingly slipped up where they talked about they were talking about the PS5 and when it was going to be revealed and an individual uh, casually started saying isn't it supposed to be on March 3rd and as soon as they said that as soon as they said that they were immediately cut off by I believe the podcast host and he tried to kind of downplay it to make it seem like he wasn't trying to like stop him from getting them in a ton of trouble and he just kind of casually went with it and just said, oh, nobody knows anything yet. And so I'm going to play that clip for you right now. Check it out. When is that event supposed to happen? The February? There no announcement. Yet. No announcement? Yeah, I don't know. It's everybody, everybody, said, everybody seems so sure there's going to be a February event. Yeah, well, that's and what they did last time. Hmm. The PS4 was, I think, unveiled by now. Uh, Still last, waiting on that email. Last time around, yeah. yep. Those invites will be coming any day now. I'm sure. <laughs> it wouldn't, but they wouldn't. There isn't no one out. There isn't no one out. Now, obviously, after watching that, you can tell that something is up here. And I want to let anybody know who's maybe doubting that this is the case here. I want you to think back to when we talked about The Last of Us Part Two. There was an interview that Ashley Johnson, the voice actor for Ellie, gave where she came out and seemingly she was about to reveal the date when she was asked about it. She said, I believe it's releasing in Feb. And then she just immediately stopped herself or got cut off. And it turns out that that was true. What we were speculating about back then about, oh, it's going to be in February, turned out to be true. Obviously, we know that it ended up getting delayed back into May, but February was the original date. So we have an individual here saying March 3rd, which would be as soon as tomorrow. On top of that, we now have Hideo Kojima teasing something out on his Twitter. There's been a lot of conversation when it comes to Kojima Productions and their next project, how he's seemingly getting ready to announce something. But today, he put out a picture of the 2020 calendar, and it was focused on March. And all he tweeted was the words, March. So, clearly... Hideo Kojima and Kojima Productions plan to announce something in March. The chances of that something being related to the PlayStation, or more specifically the PlayStation 5, very high. Honestly, very high. So that's just one thing we have to go over here. Now, I know what a lot of you are asking, what about this 13.3 TFLOP PS5? Well, there was another leak that came out either yesterday or the day before, and I don't want to entertain this leak too much. I don't want to give it like any type of credibility because it doesn't. It comes from an anonymous source and it was posted, I believe, on 4chan. I could be mistaken on that, but it was posted on one of these forums from an anonymous source. And this is what the leak says. It's going to be announced March 3rd. So again, that would mean tomorrow. And if what this leak says is true, I don't think it is, uh, at least not the whole thing. I don't see Sony dropping this megaton bombshell <laughs> just randomly on a Tuesday. However, I do want to remind people that Sony has proven in the past they have absolutely no problem doing this type of stuff in this way. If you recall the PlayStation 5 information we've gotten up until this point, putting aside the logo reveal, all came from Wired articles that were just randomly dropped. There's absolutely nothing here saying or there's, there's no clear sign that Sony won't do this again to reveal the specs of the PlayStation 5. 
Now this leak says 13.3 teraflops custom RDNA 2 GPU at 1.7 gigahertz with 60 compute units, which would be insane if that's true. AMD Zen 8 core at 3.4 gigahertz. Sony is working on boosting it up to 3.7 gigahertz. Uh, this would explain the uh, you know the, the need for a very lavish cooling system if true. The RAM 16 gigabytes GDDR6 plus 4 gigabytes DDR4 SSD at 5.5 gigabytes at one terabyte. Dedicated ray tracing and 3D audio cores. 565 gigabyte bandwidth. Full digital backwards compatibility with every PlayStation console and handheld for a library of thousands of games on day one. Enhanced DualShock 5 with haptic triggers, heartbeat monitors, and built-in microphone, PlayStation AI assistant that allows you to change games, create parties, and more with voice commands. Estimated retail price $4.99. Now, I will say the number one thing about this leak that just really screams not real is this bottom part where they suddenly start going on a tangent about backwards compatibility, thousands of games day one, DualShock 5, you know, heartbeat monitors, uh, AI assistant. It sounds like they're just taking a bunch of patents that we have heard about and just putting them in here to make it sound legitimate, but the chances of all of those patents actually being a real thing that will be there day one with the PS5 are very slim. However, I'm mentioning this because the most interesting thing about this obviously are the specifications, specifically that 13.3 TFLOP number. Now, we are going to move on to another post that comes from NeoGAF, and I believe this came out yesterday. This comes from an individual named Bee Gees, who is a confirmed industry professional. So it maybe is worth paying attention to what this person is saying. And this is all they said. And the fact that this is all they said tells me that they are, in fact, an industry professional and they do not want to reveal too much so that they don't get in some kind of trouble. They put a post out yesterday on, on the forum, uh, NeoGAF, and they said, true leaks are always true at a certain time and circumstances. Today, 9.2 TFLOPs is the only thing that the PS5 does not have. Now, it's at puberty. So what does this mean? Well, first of all, this individual who is an industry professional is confirming that the 9.2 TFLOP spec leak is not true. However, he's alluding to the idea that it was true at one point in time, but that's no longer what we're going to see with the final build of the PlayStation 5 or the final spec reveal. He's now saying it hit puberty. So this is leading a lot of people to point to that 13.3 TFLOP leak, specifically pointing to Tommy Fisher, who is also supposedly an insider, saying that, look, you are going to see a 13.3 TFLOP PS5 on RDNA 2. Now this segues perfectly to the final thing I want to bring up here that maybe brings this all together, people, where we have official confirmation from AMD themselves that the PS5 will in fact be RDNA 2. Now while there are some people who are going to say, didn't we already know this? Believe it or not, there are a lot of people who have been under the assumption it will be RDNA 1 when in fact this entire time, at least from the end of January going forward, it has been confirmed that it will be on RDNA 2. Now this is a direct quote from the product manager lead at AMD and this is what they had to say. AMD as a company strongly believes in the value and capability of ray tracing. RDNA 2, the next gen, will support ray tracing. Both the next generation Xbox and PlayStation will support hardware ray tracing with Radeon natively. We will be sure to have the content that gamers can actually use to run on those GPUs. We believe in our ray tracing and we still have it and we will have it when the time is right. Now, it's also worth noting, and this is where I'm just basically trying to connect all the dots here, AMD has revealed that they will be talking more about their ray tracing on March 5th, just two days after March 3rd. So if you have to uh, imagine that maybe AMD wouldn't want to do something like this until Sony has revealed more of their specifications, maybe that's not necessarily true, but all I'm trying to get at with this video, guys, is that there are a lot of signs here pointing to something. And the number one thing it seems to be pointing to is that, first of all, the PS5 is going to be very powerful. Like, it's not going to be 9.2 TFLOPs. 
I've said this before how, you know, I made a video where I said it seems extremely unlikely to me that it will end up being 9.2 T-flops, and we have to understand that none of this is official confirmation to any capacity, so you should not walk away looking at it this way. I'm just trying to show you guys that there are a lot of different signs pointing to a singular thing, that being that the PS5 is going to be um, at least 10 T-flops or above hitting the teens, uh, there's some, you know, uh, th th there's some signs here pointing to a 13.3 T-flop uh, PS5, and there's also some signs pointing to a reveal, uh, some type of spec reveal or PS5 reveal of some sort happening as soon as tomorrow. Now, I want to end this video by saying don't walk away from this video being overly hyped. In fact, it's best you should walk away from this video expecting absolutely nothing, so that way you're not disappointed. But... I want it to take time to relay this information to you guys because this is incredibly interesting to me and I have to say like I honestly can't wait for Sony to talk more about the PS5 obviously but I really can't wait to hear about the specs because we've been hearing so much back and forth it's going to be incredibly interesting to see who is correct but at the very least we have official confirmation and we've had official confirmation from AMD that the PS5 for those who have been in doubt will in fact be on RDNA 2 architecture. So that's going to do it for the video, guys. Let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments below. I'm going to be really interested to see what you guys have to say. Again, leave the video a like if you did enjoy it or if you found it informative at all. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already. Hit the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload. And feel free to share this video out on top of all that. But until next time, guys, take care.